Hey guys, Jared here with RP Strength and Fitness. Um, I just want to kind of elaborate a little bit more on uh, my post yesterday about this concept of train for life. Um, you know, oftentimes in our gym, you know, we'll have people come in. Obviously, there's a bunch of different goals. There's different things that people are working on. But some of the, my favorite stories and things that I hear are when people get to use their, uh, their, their health and fitness in their everyday lives. It might be, hey, I helped um, somebody move some equipment or maybe I had to move a couch and I didn't. Um, you know, have to ask somebody to come help. Uh, most recently, it's been, you know, things like I got to do events and stuff with my children that I would have never been able to do. And so, um, you name it, you know, we've probably heard some variation of it over the years. And those are the types of things that make me as a coach um, feel most happy, I guess, you know, um, because those are the types of things that, you know, you don't necessarily train for, but you get as a product of your training. And so, um, over the next few weeks and months, um, I'm going to be doing kind of little things, just anything that kind of pops into my mind, I'm going to go ahead and make a video of it. Um, oftentimes there's stuff where I'll think about making a video and I just don't sit down and do it. So, um, but this idea of, of train for life is um, everybody in some degree um, has some power over their physical health. Now there are illnesses, there are accidents and injuries and things that can happen in your life that are out of your control. Um, but I always say there's, there's really two things that we can control. One of them is your knowledge and education. You know, you can pick up a book, you can learn about something. The internet has tons of resources and the more time you spend investing into that, most likely the more knowledge you're going to gain. And in some ways your training is similar. If I want to just feel good, you know, you might only need to train once or twice a week and, and you know, you can probably maintain your health for a long, long time. Um, if you want to look like the people in a magazine, it's probably going to take a significant amount of time and energy and money uh, to do that. And, and the cost of doing that may be at the expense of some of the other things in your life. And so um, what, what I would like to see people do is just kind of take advantage of the fact that it is within their control. And if somebody wants to just have a, a minimal increase in health over a long period of time, absolutely do that and it doesn't need to be with our gym it can be um, you know at home or it can be at a local gym or you can you know start playing maybe a recreational sport um, but we're gonna go into more details of that over the next few weeks but um, long story short is is training doesn't have to be uh, five six days of vigorous exercise it can be a little bit more than what you're used to doing but done frequently over a long period of time so whether that's one day a week for six months or whether it's you know, a half hour on a Monday and an hour on a Thursday and, and that's what you get. Um, what really matters is that you're doing something that is at or a little bit more than what your body's, uh, you know, physiological zero point is. Um, and, and that's just kind of what helps you maintain or improve over a long period of time. And you may find out that after, you know, quite a while, you didn't even realize it, but you could do things you never could before. Um, you know, uh, again, it's, it's, I heard a story one time of a client who uh, went to pick up bags of dog food and somebody yelled at her, don't pick that up, that's too heavy. And she picked up one in each arm and threw it in her cart and the person looked at her dumbfounded, like, wow, I didn't realize that person was gonna be able to do that and just walked away out of frustration. Um, and my client just smiled. She said, you know, hey, I'm pretty dang strong. So um, little things like that, but um, stay tuned. If you like just basic general info, I'm gonna try to post a little bit at a time. Um, if you want more detailed info, feel free to reach out. But uh, uh, it's just, it, it's something that I, I want everybody to experience is, is good physical health. Um, everything to a degree, uh, again, barring some type of strain, Ill, uh, illness, injury, or some type of a genetic issue, um, even, even those types of things with proper coaching and instruction, um, you can learn to do what's best for you. So, um, but uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're looking forward to it. Um, so you're gonna see a lot more of me in the future. Thank you.